see some of you are drinking. That's not the answer. It's not. Eating is. It's amazing how our attitude on alcohol changes, right? Because even as a teenager, you know it's wrong. You're like, you know, I don't like the taste of it, but I want to look cool. And then in your 20s, you're like, you know what? This kind of gives me confidence to talk to the opposite sex. And then in your 40s, you're like, you know what? This is the only thing I like about being alive. <laughs> it's only funny because it's true. I'm sure some of you are going to go to some bars, head to a bar, right? Yeah. I never really feel comfortable right when I get in a bar. I'm always kind of like, who are all these strangers? But after a couple of beers, I'm like, these guys are probably my best friends. Because <laughs> your experience in a bar changes over the course of the night, right? As the night goes on, you see really why we go to bars. We go to bars so we can behave like children. Toddlers, really. You ever go to a bar at 2 a.m.? You might as well be picking up a kid at nursery school. <laughs> It's the same experience. The behavior's the same in both places. Both places, there's always some strange yelling for no reason at all, you know? <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Both places, you go in the bathroom, it's obvious not everyone's potty trained. <laughs> both places, there's always someone crying, she was my best friend, but not anymore. Both places, occasionally there's a fight. You know, he was standing where I wanted to stand. <laughs> so I punched him in the head. <laughs> I need more juice. <laughs> but at 2 a.m., people are drunk in bars. I love how we're always surprised when someone's drunk in a bar. We're actually shocked. We're like, look at that guy. <laughs> He's wasted <laughs> in a bar. <laughs> I came here to read a novel. Mostly the people that are drunk in bars are drunk because they're drinking shots. And really the only time to ever drink a shot is never. <laughs> no one's ever drank a shot and then done something they're proud of. <laughs> oh, I got wasted last night and then I went out and built some low-income housing. <laughs> that never happens. You always wake up the next day and you're like, I need a new identity. <laughs> Maybe two of them. Because if you're drinking shots, it's either your birthday or you're trying to forget you were ever born. <laughs> there is something honest about a shot. It's like, I want to get right to the embarrassing part of the night. <laughs> right to pants off. <laughs> but we don't even drink shots. We take them like they're medicine. This will cure my normal behavior. <laughs> Everyone acts like we're in a Western. Whoa, 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 whoa. That'll give me the courage to confront this plate of nachos. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Strangers will buy you a shot. You ever had that? Hey, I don't know you. Let me buy a shot. This never happens with anything else. Hey, what do you see? You and me. Let's do some appetizers. <laughs> Jalapeno poppers. Mano a mano. <laughs> you got to turn that shot down before they get it poured. Because once it's poured, they act like you're rejecting a sweater they crocheted you. <laughs> You know how hard I worked on this? You didn't at all. <laughs> but I don't mind the bars. Unless they're really crowded, you know, like five or six people deep at the bar. Everyone's competing for the bartender's attention. We look like we're trying to get disaster relief from the Red Cross. So I... <laughs> I need mine more than he needs his! I can never get the bartender's attention. I'm always like, you try and make eye contact. You know? Show them you have money. I have cash. <laughs> but you can't try too hard in a crowded bar. You have to act how cool you have to be like, I don't even care if I get served. I just like standing in crowded, uncomfortable places. <laughs> Later on, I'm going to swing by the airport, see what that TSA line's like. <laughs> I like the lines. Never enough bartenders in a crowded bar. Those bartenders look like they're in the middle of a triage unit. They're like, give me 40 cc's or something. <laughs> Never enough bartenders. You ever get faked out by the arrival of a bar back? You're like, finally, another bar. It's a bar back. <laughs> and those poor bar backs, they always act like they're not qualified to serve you. Like, oh, no, 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 no. I can carry 12 cases up a narrow staircase, but handing you a beer, not yet. <laughs> I'm still learning from the master. Because in a crowded bar, the bartender is the master, right? All the authority goes to that. Some of them act like they're not even obligated to serve you. They're like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this booze. Maybe I'll just pour it out and make a puddle. 
And we fall for it. We're like, well, it's either deal with this guy or make it in our bathtub at home. <laughs> Damn prohibition. There's male and female bartenders. Female bartenders, they always seem a little tougher than they need to be, right? I don't want to say bitchy, because that would describe them perfectly. <laughs> Not all of them. Some female bartenders definitely give off that vibe, like, don't hit on me, treat me with respect, and don't be distracted by the fact I'm wearing a bikini. <laughs> okay, honey. They always call you honey like they're your grandma or something. What can I get you, honey? I don't know, a birthday card with $2 in it? Uh, <laughs> Maybe a beer if you're not too busy condescending me. <laughs> but if you've been to a bar, you've probably been to a filthy public restroom. We've all been in those bars where you're like, oh, well, now I know why they serve alcohol here. <laughs> and when I'm talking about uh, the filthy bathroom, I'm talking about the men's room. I don't know about the ladies' room. I haven't been in there in like a week. <laughs> but the men's room, I don't know what happens to guys when we go into a public restroom. Some anger comes out. <laughs> Some of the stuff that's written on the walls? You never have a friend admit it, like, hey, give me a second, I gotta pee and draw a swastika, I'll be right back. <laughs> There's guys writing things on the walls, and then there are the guys that reply. <laughs> Some guy write, this place sucks, another guy write, no, you suck. <laughs> As if that first guy is ever gonna see that. <laughs> like he's gathering up his friends, well, this is what I wrote on this. Hey, I said I suck! <laughs> you double suck. <sighs> wow. That was amazing. I feel like we really connected. I think you're ready to move the relationship to subscribe. If the button wasn't down there, subscribe. Just do it. Do it.